Yo, what's going on guys? Nick here from Akari Gaming, bringing you another video today. As you can see by the box, this is a loot gaming crate. Um, it's the first time I've ever used this subscription like from Loot Crate. I used to be subscribed to Loot Crate, but um, I, I came to a realization of uh, you know, Loot Crate kind of being just a garbage subscription box. And I, you know, I stopped spending money on it. But it's been about, it's, I don't know, it's been about a year probably now since I've last had my loot crate. Um, I only subscribed to this because I saw this about Fallout 4 and I'm a Fallout 4 nerd. And I don't know why, but in my head, I'm probably giving myself false hope. But in my head, I was thinking that maybe there might be something decent in here. And the more and more I think about that, the more and more I feel like I'm about to get conned again because, let's be honest, how many decent items can you get for, you know, $20. I know they say you get like, what, is it like $40 or $50 worth of merchandise, but let's be honest, that's some BS. But I don't want to downplay anymore, let's just get on with it, let's see if I get conned again, or if maybe I made the right decision on subscribing to this box. Um, right off the back, not that big of a box, you know, it's pretty small. Uh, I, uh, as usual, there's a t-shirt in here. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, box didn't come in the best shape, but hopefully everything is going to be in there. And we'll just see what we got. Yeah, you know. The more and more I think about it, the more and more I think about it, I'm a mistake, but we shall see. Alright, so here's the inside. So right off the back, I can see what the Fallout 4 exclusive is going to be. Is that of the t-shirt? Oh my god. This is plain Jane's shirt, but you can see that uh looks like you got all the Fallout 4 perk people I'm guessing you can see. Or it's just a bunch of Fallout 4 characters. I don't know. The thing is <laughs> Fuck man. Who the fuck's gonna wear this shirt? I mean, I, I might wear it once, but it's just, look at it, everything's the same, there's nothing to it. If that shirt didn't cost fucking a couple of dollars to make, I don't know what did. So, yeah, that's my Fallout 4 exclusive. 0 for 1 so far. Damn. Alright. Gears of War 4. Uh, another game I'm really hyped for. Little box. Let's see what it is. Here's the back. Mark II Lancer. I swear, if it's just like a little gun model, I swear, please don't be. Oh, for fuck's sake! Like, what am I gonna. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do this with this? Oh, you just put the, the little gun on your desk and you just display it. Like, what the fuck? These things like this are so stupid. It's bad enough having a really, like, shitty t-shirt like we just got, even though it's Fallout 4 and I'm really sad to say that, but what? This is dumb. This almost reminds me of when I was subscribed and we got that, like, Dead Rising 3, like, saw slash pen, whatever the hell it was, sledgehammer, and it's like, what do you do with it, man? You just, like, display it on your desk, like, this. This is Garbo. Yeah, does it, land does it look cool? Yeah, I guess it looks cool. The fuck you're supposed to do with it? Nobody knows what you're supposed to do with it. Whatever. And there's a little stand. Oh shit. I thought I got caught again. Alright, next item up. Dead Rising 4. Let's see what's in this thing. And FYI, I had no idea what any of this stuff was, so <laughs> as I'm getting this, this is real disappointment. <laughs> It's not like I knew ahead of time and still got this. Oh, fuck. What is this supposed to be? Alright, little pouch. I really don't know anything about Dead Rising 4. I just know that it's coming out soon. Made in China. Oops, something just fucking fell out of screw or something. What the hell does this go to? <laughs> Alright, so we got like... Pretty much like a little Frank West. Is that the character I'm guessing? I have no idea. I don't know a whole lot about Dead Rising. We got ourselves a little multi-use tool. 
which I guess I can understand because in Dead Rising you're always building weapons and stuff. And yeah, you know, it's more like a little Swiss Army knife almost. A few more tools. I ain't gonna go through it all. Uh, cool, I guess. I don't know. Probably would lose this before I need it, but. Oh well, and like I said, I have no idea what this screw that just fell off it goes to, but I guess I'll find out. Oh, uh, here we go, it goes right there. So it's already falling apart. It doesn't even fit in, bro. What? My inside, it's all... <laughs> it doesn't even go in, it's all stripped. <laughs> it's a stripped little screw. Okay, whatever. Let's try not to lose it, I'll try to fix it later. Alright. Oh, another loot crate exclusive. There we go, baby. Um, battle zone. Fuck, I don't. Even, I have no idea what that is. I want to rip it open and see. Come on, bitch. I'm not gonna use this box anymore, so fuck it. Just open it. Alright, battle zone. Oh boy. Here we go. We got some battle zone shock glasses. You know what? I think we actually got something from Loot Crate that I might actually use. Maybe I'll do some shots tonight to put away my sorrow and sadness of spending over 20 bucks for this crate. There we go. And at least there's two of them. <laughs> Fucking double it up. Alright, moving on. We still got a couple other things, I guess. Lucky us. So apparently they put comic books in. Dark Souls, Legends of the Flame. I don't know, not a very big comic book person, but... Oh, it's a Loot Crate exclusive means it's absolutely fucking worthless, but that's cool. I mean, I like comic books, I really don't read them, but I mean, there's more substance to this than half the other junk you're gonna get. And then, got like a little pin, but it says, oh, see if my There we go. Battleground, September 2016. So I'm guessing that's what the monthly theme was, Battleground. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess this sure beats like what Loot Crate used to do with those little cheap pins, with those little plastic pins they made, but... <laughs> we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Alright, so next, it looks like we have a poster. Oh, this is not a poster. Oh, okay. It's a poster, but it's also... I guess they don't do the guidebooks anymore, they just... They let you know what everything is on this. But on the poster itself... The way I got my camera set up, let's see if I can show you, but... You know, just a little battle scene. From no particular game, what it looks like. Oh, great! And it also says "loot gaming" on, in case you, you know, wanted to hide the fact that we had it. But still, didn't remind you. All right, so let's go over what we got, guys. Try to wrap this video up. We got the Dead Rising multi-tool, etched with the Dead Rising protagonist's name. Oh man, so Frank West is gonna be a crazy motherfucker, apparently. That's awesome. You got the Battleground coin pin. Memento from the Trenches. Okay, I don't know how that means. We have the Fallout Vault Boy collage tee, which is just so plain Jane. Like, you can't even, even define the characters in there when you're waiting. Like, you know, if you saw me wearing this, you can't even fucking tell half those characters. It looks like one big old mess. But, yeah, awesome. Just a blue t shirt with a bunch of white lines. Oh, uh, we have the Battlezone shot glasses. That's the Battlezone game over screen. Oh, awesome, dude. On the other side, we have the 
Gears of War Classic Lancer Replica. That's <laughs> so stupid. Dude, that's so dumb. Battle Zone. Fucking sucked ass. Alright, and then we also have the Dark Souls Legends of the Flame number one comic. Which I might as well just open that bitch and try to read it. That way I feel like I got some kind of substance from this box. Because overall, it's kind of what I expect. Like, I, I should have known. I think I just got excited about knowing there was going to be some Fallout 4 stuff in here. And knowing I was going to get a t-shirt. And whenever I used to, like, watch some of these, uh... Loot Crate unboxings, and everybody would be like, Hey man, you get a t-shirt. That's all your, that's most your value alone. When you get a little thin-ass cheap t-shirt like this that has nothing to it, no, that is, that is not the value of this box alone. There is no value in that t-shirt. That might... They might get that t-shirt for probably... I'm sure they get it for under five bucks. Probably, like, you know, they mass order it. That shirt's probably worth, like, three dollars. So, anyway, I don't know. I feel like I'm a hater right now. I think I'm just disappointed. But, uh... Oh, and I guess... What else do you get? Oh, you get nothing else. I thought I read something on the poster, but they're just advertising Battlefield 1, which is going to be a pretty badass game. But, yeah. That's it, guys. Uh, that is what you would get with the Battlezone Loot Crate Gaming. Like that... Ugh, whatever. Look how they have all these subscription boxes now. Like, they're still trying to hide the fact that they give out pure shite. But that's goes apart. Like, people like me and, you know, millions of others that continue to buy this shit. I mean, all it is is just a gimmick of junk that you would probably never buy on your own. But I think we just get excited having a box shipped to our house and maybe, just maybe, you have the chance of getting something that's worthwhile. But anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Thanks for uh, watching the struggle of what just happened of opening a box that you paid for. Um, I still had a good time doing it. It gave me a chuckle, and it reminded me of why I initially dropped Loot Crate and why I will... Oh, God. I'm praying that my subscription... I, I'm not sure if I renewed it or not. I thought I canceled the like renewal. Let's hope we do. If not, you'll be seeing another video <laughs> of some more yard sale quality uh items but yeah hope you guys have a great day i'll be cleaning these shot glasses out and uh getting them prepped up so i can do some shots tonight and maybe i'll be playing some forza horizon 3 but anyway guys like i said before and countless other times thanks for watching this video really do appreciate it um hopefully i'll have some more content coming on this team channel in the future anyway hope you guys have a great day and i'll see y'all later